Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're creating an animated Mother's Day GIF entirely in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. We're using my paid set of watercolor lettering brushes, but you can use any brushes you'd like. You just wanna make sure that there's some pressure sensitivity, but if you're not using watercolor brushes, you should not expect to have the watercolor textures and effects that we will be integrating by using those brushes. So this is a little bit more of an advanced and animation tutorial. So if you haven't checked out my other animation tutorials yet, I will leave a link to my playlist on screen and in the video description if you'd like to check those out. So I'm going to create a brand new document that is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 dpi. Okay, I've got my canvas all set to go. And as always, the color palette for this project is entirely free. There's a link in the video description. So just tap in there and you can download and install it. You can see there's a bunch of colors this week. And the first thing we're going to do is make sure all of our lettering is centered. That way, as we move along, everything will remain centered as we begin adding in all of our watercolor simple florals. So in order to do that, I'm going to come over to my wrench, go to canvas, go to drawing guide, turn on drawing guide, and then hit edit drawing guide. I'm going to increase my grid size all the way to the max. Let me make my grid a little bit darker so you can see it better. And then I'm going to hit done. And now that I've got the crosshairs, I can use those to make sure everything is aligned and everything is centered. So I'm going to add in my mom text first, and then I'll add in the happy and the day. So I'm going to hit my wrench icon, go to add, and then choose add text. And I'm just going to type in mom, hit edit style, we're going to change it to all caps, so just toggle this little all caps node over. I'm going to change the font to Helvetica New, which is right here, choose the bold version of this, and I'm going to increase the size quite a bit. I'm going up to about 190, 190 points. Okay, I'm going to hit done. And now if I select it and move it around, you can see I've got my nodes and I'm going to make this perfectly centered. Once I'm all done, you can just tap anywhere to deselect. And now we're going to add in our happy and day above and beneath mom. So I'm going to tap on my wrench, hit add text. I'm going to hit my keyboard and type in happy, hit return and then day. Go to edit style. We're going to change this to all caps once again. This time the Helvetica new is going to be medium. Increase the size, not too much. And then I'm going to increase the tracking, which is the uniform space between all of my letters. So that's going to be about 30%. I'm gonna go back to my keyboard and just put in some extra space. That way I can see everything much better when I align it. Okay, now I've got everything I need to work with to complete my piece. I'm going to first write out my text. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of my happy and day text because I'm actually going to hand letter this instead of using the font. So I'm just using this as a template. So I'm going to create a new layer right above it. I'm going to grab my darkest blue color, which is the second one on the bottom. I'm going to grab my round paintbrush for lettering from that brush set that's in the video description. And I'm just going to trace over only using my style of lettering. Now I can turn off or delete my happy text. And now I've got my mom to work with. <laughs> so I'm going to reduce the opacity down. I'm gonna come down to like 60% so I can still see what's going on. And now we're going to slide our lettering. Let me label this one lettering. I'm gonna slide the lettering layer all the way down so it's just above the background color layer. That part's really important as we begin animating. And I don't need this layer. This doesn't have anything on it. And now we can start putting in all of our different florals. So I'm going to show you a few different styles of really simple watercolor florals that you can use for anything. And you can just drop them into your letters and as they animate in, it'll be a really cool effect. So I'm going to create a brand new layer. I'm going to turn on my animation assist so we can start animating everything. So come over to canvas and turn on animation assist. We can turn off our drawing guide now. We don't need those crosshairs anymore. And now you can see we've got thumbnails down here that correspond with the layers up here. So this first layer corresponds to my background color and the very first layer. So I need to establish this layer as a background layer because I want it to be present throughout the entire animation. I don't want it to flick on and flick off. So in order to do that, you're just going to tap on the very first frame and toggle on background and now it will stay there throughout the entire animation. And this first frame that's going to play is going to be the very first layer right above it, right there. So I'm using my mom text 
as my template. I'm going to always keep the mom template underneath whatever layer I'm working on and I can turn it off when I'm previewing everything. So for my settings, I'm just going to tap that on. I'm going to increase my onion skin opacity up to the max and that will help me to see the mom text whenever I'm drawing on top of it. And I'm going to reduce my frames per second down to like eight or nine. I've got mine at eight. Oh, I want a ping pong effect for this. So I'm going to tap on ping pong. So it adds all the florals in and then it takes them away and then adds them in again. So it's a really fun effect for this. Okay, we're going to drop in our biggest flowers first and then we'll add in all the little flowers and foliage to populate any missing holes or gaps that we have left. So I'm going to start with a really simple flower. And the way that I wanna do this is I don't want just the entire flower to pop up as it's animating. I want the bits and pieces of the flower to start animating while other things things animate. So we've got a bunch of concurrent animations that are taking place just to make this a little bit more complex than just flashing up fully drawn elements as you go. So I'm going to start with my second pink color right here. I'm going to grab my round paintbrush for illustration and I'm just going to come to different parts of the different letters and draw in some really big petal shapes. But I'm going to try and stay within the bounds of the letter. I don't wanna go beyond it. That way you can see the letters that are populating in. I'm going to reduce the size of this down to about 10%. So I'm going to create a big petal right here, a big petal right here, here, and here. And that's the essence of this really simple petaled flower. So that's our first petaled flower and I'm just going to drop in some other petals with my lighter pink color on the exact same layer. So these ones are all kind of starting at the same time. Okay, now we have all of our petaled flowers complete and with the animation, we're building on top of what we already have. So in order to have this animate with building on top of what we're already creating, we need to replicate what we just did. So slide it to the left, choose duplicate. And then on this layer, we're going to begin adding to it. So I'm going to grab my brown color and we're going to add in the centers of these petaled flowers. So for the larger ones, I'm just going to stipple some centers in here. And then for the smaller ones, I'm just going to place a dot inside of each one. Okay, now we're going to start adding in some additional flowers. So I'm going to create some more larger size flowers and then we'll start populating everything else in between them. So the next large size flower are going to kind of be like thistles. So I'm going to create these dots that are kind of medium size, I guess, and stagger them around. Okay, and I'm just going to add in some leaves just to add an additional different type of element to all of this. So I'm going to grab my darkest green color, which is the fourth one on the bottom, and I'm going to create some large size leaves. We've drawn these together before if you've been following along with my floral tutorials, but basically you're just going to come up, notch down, come up, notch down, and then come up and then do the exact same thing on the other side. If you're using this brush set, make sure you continue drawing with your stylus on the screen and that will give you one continuous texture throughout and it'll look really pretty and really varied. So I'm just going to draw a few of these in different places. Okay, now that we have our leaf elements in there, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. Slide it over to the left, hit duplicate, and now we're going to continue adding different elements. So I'm going to finish up some of the elements that I already started. So I'm going to add a stem onto this one. Okay, I'm going to add in stems to my thistles. So I'm going to grab my brown and just draw these down. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add some details to my leaves right here. So I'm going to grab my green again, but this time I'm going to use my round paintbrush for lettering, just because it's a more dense brush. So I'm going to get one continuous opacity throughout. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to add in some additional petaled flowers. So I'm going to grab my lightest blue color right here, return to my round paintbrush for illustration. And now these ones are also going to be on the larger side. So I'm going to draw three petals just like that. Let me make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go up to 6%. Okay, I think that's good for this layer. We're going to duplicate it. 
We're going to add some more to this layer and then we'll preview our animation. So hang with me. I know we're adding a lot of elements and not getting to see anything happen yet. I'm going to return to my brown and put in the centers of these flowers. Okay, we're going to add stems to these smaller petaled flowers. So I'm going to grab my dark green color. All right, I'm going to add leaves to my larger petaled flowers. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to do on this layer is add some flowers to our thistles. So I'm going to grab my yellow color and then on the tops of the thistles, you're just going to put some really simple lines that will look like petals. All right, let's take a preview of how this looks so far. So I'm just going to turn off my mom text and we'll play it. So hit play down here. You can see it's populating in. We want to see it a little slower. All we have to do is hit settings and reduce the frame rate. So I'm down to four right now. So that's pretty fun. So we're going to keep adding elements in and then it will become longer and then we can speed it up so it's not so stuttery right now. So I'm going to hit pause, increase this back up to eight, and we're going to keep drawing. So I'm going to turn on the mom text, come up to my top layer, duplicate, and let's just keep on adding in the different elements. So the next thing we're going to do is add in some eucalyptus. So I'm going to grab my third green color right here. I'm going to add in some stems for them, but we're just going to leave them as stems for now. Okay, we're going to add in the stems to these blue flowers. So I'm going to grab my brown, and these ones are going to be simple as well. All right, we've got one last petaled flower that we need to add in. So I'm going to grab my red color and I'm just going to drop in some petal shapes that look like this. So they're really simple three petals, but they're all really close to, together. And we're going to add one mutual stem that they're all going to share. So when you're drawing these, just make sure that they're kind of clustered together. All right, moving on to our next layer, we're going to duplicate this one. And on this one, we're going to create our eucalyptus. So I'm going to return to the third green color right here, and we're just going to put dots on these stems. Okay, we're also going to add in some additional details to our little blue flowers. So I'm going to grab my darkest blue color right here. I'm going to grab my round paintbrush for lettering, and then on all of these, I'm just going to put a line or two on the petals. Let me reduce this down to 2%. Okay, we're also going to add in the stems to the little clusters of flowers that we drew on the previous layer. So grab your brown, and then you're just going to connect them with one mutual stem. Okay, and now we're just going to start filling in any gaps that you have with additional foliage. So I'm going to grab my light green color right here and we're going to do some stemmed leaves first and then we'll do single leaves to fill in any remaining gaps. So I can find a large gap like this right here. I'm going to grab my round paintbrush for illustration, draw a stem like right here and right here and then just put a really simple leaf on top of it. Okay, we're going to preview what we've got. So let me turn off the mom layer and hit play. And that's looking really good. It's definitely still feeling too fast. So we have to add a few more layers just to make it feel like it's slowing down a little bit. So I'm going to hit pause, I'm going to duplicate my top layer. And for this one, turn on my mom layer again. For this one, I'm going to add some really simple blue flowers. So I'm going to grab my light blue and these are also going to be really good gap fillers. So these are longer petals. Okay, we're also going to add in some additional details to our larger flowers. So I'm going to grab my darkest red right here and I'm going to grab my round paintbrush for lettering and just draw some lines here. Then I'm going to grab this middle green color and we're just going to add in some really simple leaves. Let me grab my round paintbrush for lettering. 
Okay, duplicate your layer. For this one, we're going to add the stems to these blue flowers that we drew last layer. So grab your brown and then just draw your stems for these. Okay, add in some additional leaves. I'm going to grab my darkest green color again, similar leaves. All right, that feels pretty full. So let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to turn off my mom layer and hit play. And that feels really good, except once I get it to the point where the mom is completely filled out, I want it to kind of pause there for just a moment so you see it all nice and full and beautiful. And in order to do that, let me hit pause. We're going to navigate to our very last frame. So just tap down here and then tap on the thumbnail one more time. Drag this to, let's do three and see how that feels and then hit play. Now you can see when it gets to the end, it holds it for three additional frames without you having to replicate your layers. It's just much cleaner for your file. So you can see it pauses, and if that pause is long enough for you, you can leave it. I think I wanna go up to four though. So I'm gonna hit pause, come back to the frame that's bright, and then I'm just gonna increase this to four. Let's see how that feels. All right, I really like how that looks and how that feels so I am good to go. So from here, if you wanna post this on Instagram, you have to export it as an animated MP4 and it has to be at least three seconds. So if yours isn't long enough, just add a few extra frames, just fill in some more gaps and that will give you a long enough animation where you can post it onto Instagram. If you want to put this in an email to your mom, uh, all you have to do is export this as an animated GIF and then drag it right into the email. And then when she opens it up, it'll be playing automatically for her. So animated GIF for email, animated MP4 if you're posting on Instagram. So that's how to create watercolor floral Mother's Day animation in Procreate, but you can use this for any holiday if you would like. Once again, everything mentioned in this tutorial, the watercolor lettering brush set, the the color palette and my Procreate animation playlist. It's all in the video description. So just tap in there and you can have access to everything. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week next week.